Good morning friends welcome to SBI Securities Morning Podcast uh, in today's podcast we will be discussing what to expect in Nifty and Bank Nifty from here on uh, along with the key levels for both the indices uh, we will also be discussing on the key sectors and stocks that we should be focusing for the day and the next few trading sessions uh, first up let's have a quick look at the global market update uh, so in trade yesterday all the three US indices ended on a positive note uh, the tech heavy nasdaq index ended with a gain of 0.2% uh, while the dow climbed 0.4% for the day uh, the s&p 500 has ended near 5300 mark with a minor gain of 0.15% going ahead any substantial move above the levels of 5310 uh, will lead to a sharp upside rally towards the mark of 5400 uh, coming to the other major global queues, uh, so if you see Brent uh, oil has continued its uh, southward journey for the fourth consecutive trading session and it has ended near 77 level with a level with a loss of over 1%. Going ahead the zone of 76.476 will be the immediate support for Brent oil. Any substantial move below the levels of 76 uh, will lead to further correction up to the levels of 74 in the short term. Uh, if we look at the dollar index that is the DXY, it has ended at 104.14 uh, with a minor gain of 0.1% for the day. Going ahead any substantial move below the levels of 104 will lead to an extension of the correction up to 103.50. Uh, now coming to Nifty, uh, so on uh, in yesterday's trading session, uh, the benchmark index Nifty witnessed a fierce sell off uh, from the highs of 23,179. Uh, the index has tumbled by nearly 1,900 points or 8.18%. Uh, this was the highest single day fall since March 2020. However, in the last, uh, however, the last line of defense, that is the 200 EMA, has come to the rescue, and thereafter the index has managed to recoup some of its losses. Uh, it has ended below 21,900 level uh, and ended the day with a loss of nearly 6%. Uh, in October 2023, the Nifty index experienced significant reversal after approaching its uh, 200 EMA, uh, coming within less than 1% of this level. Uh, it took 25 trading sessions to reach the 200 EMA uh, from the previous highs in October 2023. Uh, this time, the index rebounded from 1% of its uh, 200 EMA. However, it has taken just only two trading sessions to reach its uh, 200 EMA level. Suggesting we might see some time-wise consolidation in the short term. Hence, we feel that yesterday's low of 21,280 uh, plus or minus 100 points on either direction will act as the important zone to watch out for in the short term. Uh, along with this uh, fall, the index has given a rising channel breakdown. Further, it has closed below its uh, 20, 50 and 100 day EMA levels. Uh, the daily RSI has also slipped below the 40 mark and it is in a falling mode. Uh, which is definitely a bearish sign on the derivative front if we see the june futures has dipped by 5.93 percent and the cumulative open interest of the current next and far series has surged by 3.43 percent which indicates overall short built up among the constituents of the nifty index three stocks have witnessed long built up three stocks have witnessed short covering while 12 stocks have witnessed short built up and 32 stocks have witnessed long unwinding for the current uh, weekly expiry put call ratio is at 0.54 while for the june expiry pcr is at 1.10 uh, the 22000 strike has significant call open interest followed by 22200 strike and on the put side if we see 21800 has significant open interest uh, followed by 21500 strike uh, going ahead if we see the zone of 21700 21650 will act as the immediate support for the index any sustainable move below the levels of 21,650 uh, will lead to further selling pressure in the index. Uh, in that case, it is likely to test the levels of 21,250 followed by 21,000 levels. While on the upside, if we see resistance has shifted lower in the zone of 22,200, 22,250 levels, above which short covering up to 22,450, 22,600 would be likely. Uh, now coming to Bank Nifty. So in trade yesterday, Bank Nifty has stumbled by nearly 8%. Uh, which was the highest single day fall since March 2020. However, underperformance was clearly visible in Bank Nifty compared to Nifty as recovery was not the same magnitude as it was in Nifty from the lower levels. It has also taken support uh, near its uh, 200 day EMA levels and witnessed a minor recovery but not to the scale which was witnessed in Nifty. 
uh, among uh, along with this fall the index has given a breakdown of the rising channel pattern on the daily scale also it has tumbled below its uh, 20 50 and 100 day ema levels uh, the daily rsi is about to cross 40 mark and it is in a falling mode uh, which is a bearish sign on the derivative front june futures dipped uh, by 8.17% and the cumulative open interest of the current next and fast series has surged by nearly 11.72%, uh, which clearly indicates a bit of short build up in the index. Uh, the 47,000 strike has significant call open interest followed by 47,500. And on the put side, if we see 46,500 has significant uh, open interest followed by 46,000 strike. Uh, for the current uh, weekly expiry, put call ratio is at 0.42. While for the June expiry, we have PCR which is at uh, 0.93, that is from the monthly perspective. Uh, going ahead, the zone of 46,600-46,500 uh, will act as the immediate support for the index. Any sustainable move below the levels of uh, 46,500 will lead to further selling pressure towards the mark of 46,000. A while on the upside, if we see uh, the zone of 47,700-47,800 uh, will act as the crucial uh, hurdle for the index. Uh, now coming to the key market indicators, so we had the volatility index which witnessed a sharp upside rally in trade yesterday. Uh, it has marked a high of 31.70 which was the highest since February 2022. Uh, despite witnessing a minor cool off from the higher levels, India VIX ended about 26.50 levels with a substantial gain of 28%. Uh, going forward, 22-23 levels will be extremely crucial support level. And till VIX holds 22, it could uh, uh, incrementally keep moving higher. Uh, if you look at the advanced decline ratio yesterday, it was largely tilted in favor of the declining stocks. On June 3rd, 60% uh, stocks of Nifty component were trading above their 50-day EMA level. Uh, this percentage dropped to 23% on Tuesday. Uh, June uh, that is yesterday's trading session uh, indicating weaker market breadth uh, similarly the nifty 500 the number of stocks trading above their 50 day EMA has halved from 60% on Monday to 30% in trade yesterday uh, due to the broad based selling pressure uh, now if we look at the key sectors so barring nifty FMCG all the other sectors have ended on a negative note uh, nifty PSU bank nifty oil and gas and nifty metal has tumbled by over 10% uh, Nifty FMCG has taken support near its 200-day uh, EMA level and thereafter witnessed a sharp recovery. Uh, this clearly indicates investors are preferring defensive stocks in the high volatile environment. Uh, going ahead, any substantial move above the levels of 55,500 will lead to an upside rally in the Nifty FMCG index. Uh, now coming to the FII-DI data, both FIIs and DIs were net sellers in trade yesterday uh, to the tune of 12,436 and 3,318 crores respectively. Uh, if you look at the FI long short ratio for index futures, it is at 12.75 on a net basis. Uh, this they, as they sold about 1,58,435 index futures. On the stock futures front, FIs have bought to the tune of 21,662 contracts. While on the options front, if we see, uh, if we see FIs sold 66,296 call contracts and purchased 1,42,476 put option contracts. So friends, that's all for today. Thank you for regularly listening to our podcast and wishing you all an energetic day ahead. Uh, do tune in tomorrow for more market updates and insights. Thank you. Investment and securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.